We think of volunteering as a good thing. It is all about doing good for others, giving back to the community, making the world a better place, right? But what happens when military or police use volunteering for their own needs? And what happens if volunteering is connected to weapons and violence? Or when voluntary activities are associated with militarist or nationalist causes? For example, in Israel, the military has been engaging its soldiers in all kinds of volunteering activities. Serving food in soup kitchens, spending some time with elderly people, assisting children with special needs. These kind of activities have also been taking place in the US Army and in other Western militaries. We also see the emergence of NGOs that promote nationalist and militarist values. Take, for example, the New Guard, or Hashomer Hadash. They recruit young Jewish Israeli volunteers for their nationalist Zionist project of guarding and cultivating agricultural lands. Or take, for instance, South Africa, where weaponized volunteers are active in community policing projects. The new liberal state is continuously dismantling public services. This generates feelings of insecurity and it creates vacuums where new actors step in. And these new actors are often state and non-state militant organizations that expand systemic violence and normalize it. Why is it problematic? These organizations benefit from the public appreciation of volunteering. Volunteering helps you look good. Looking good helps you to recruit even more volunteers, which are free labor force. This helps these organizations to legitimize the use of weapons and violence. My colleagues and I identified these trends in studies from across the world. This led us to edit a special issue of current sociology titled Weaponized Volunteering, New Configurations Between Civil Society and Armed Organizations. Together with Dr. Nir Gazit from Israel, we invited scholars working on a wide range of subjects, such as NGOs, education, the extractive industry, and policing. Together we reflected on the ways that volunteering got entangled with violence, weapons, and nationalist tendencies. Our special issue shows that volunteering can no longer be perceived only as a peaceful civic activity. Volunteering increasingly attracts the interests of security specialists and militarist organizations, and it therefore deserves critical scrutiny. Yet we still need to respond to situations where the state and corporations are failing us. More weapons and security practices are not the answer, nor is volunteering a quick fix for all our problems. With these insights in mind, we can start to imagine alternative ways of participating in public life as citizens.